Hey folks, I figured it was about time to get back on the four-wheel drive truck. And uh, actually it's a little past time. I should have already done it. But, you know, our hubs are done for the back. I've still got to finish the front ones up. I've got to get some studs pulled out of a truck out front. Uh, as you can see, the door is missing all the parts. Uh, I actually used them parts on a, another on one of my trucks a long time ago. Uh, door handle the latch, all of the everywhere, well, the door panel and everything for the regulator to roll the window up and down. The window's still in it. So I needed all them parts and uh, that one over there is missing the door, uh, the actual uh, regulator for the window and handle and the, uh, looks like the armrest, but, which is not a big deal. But I come up with another solution. You can see I got the wing glass out of this one too. Uh, now the, the mirrors we took off, I had them on and I think I took the mirror off the other side. Yeah, we took the mirror off the other side, left the door handle on. This door's complete all but that, you know, a couple things on the inside. But you can see there's a bend in that door right there. But I'll show you what I decided to do here. Here's two doors I picked up really, really cheap at an auction. And, uh, well, I say cheap. I think I've got $140 in both doors. And, uh, and that's cheap, really, for these doors because, you know, they sell for, you know, four to $500 a piece, usually. One of the things I like about these is, uh, they're a little dirty, but they've got the steel door panel. They came with the armrests, you know, the regulators, everything's there. So I just need to get them cleaned up and get them on. And I don't mind the steel. You know, I don't have to have no, you know, door panel cloth or anything like that. Still got the door rubber on it and the mirrors. So uh, I think I'll come out good on that. I'm just going to swap these over to it. Probably still have to take the mirrors off to, for our paint. But, but everything else is fine. One glasses are good. And uh, I thought maybe these were state. But they look almost too, I don't know. They might be state. Yellow don't quite look right, but it might be. So we're going to get them doors on there, and we're going to try to get our hubs finished up for the front. And I'll show you a couple other things i got to do. Okay, we've got, we've got most of the stuff hooked up on the engine. I actually put the air compressor on and was going to run the, uh, go ahead and run the air compressor even though I don't really need it. But I found out the return hole for the oil to go back into the block was missing. They didn't they didn't machine it in. So uh, <coughs> excuse me. So they it actually started up and I filled the uh, air compressor completely full of oil until it started leaking out. So it wasn't returning back into the engine. So I just blocked the line off and left it off for now. And I'll decide later if I want to do that. Or I even thought about I can't. There's no good way of machining that with the head on it. Uh, I thought about boring into the bottom of the compressor and then running a return line back to the back side of the head uh, because it is open on the back and uh, someone could have just put the wrong head on the wrong side. Uh, not sure. I mean, you know, they're the same but, you know, they may not have machined it if it was a right side head. So I'll have to deal with that and then uh, I've got to deal with a brake system problem. I've, I don't have the the booster which was a uh, hydraulic hydrovac, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's hydraulic assist. I don't have that. I don't have the master cylinder and I'm going to have to run all new brake lines. I know I've got to have rubber hoses running from the cab to the frame. That's what they had originally and that's what I really want to run anyway. All the brake lines have to be done so that's something we've got to work on and I've definitely got to get the get a booster lined up and stuff. I've used all that stuff off this truck years back. This was just a parts truck. So we're trying to put something back together that I've already borrowed a lot of stuff off of. The other thing is with using this hood, uh, you can see we had to cut the radiator support at the top. We actually moved these down, I believe. We did actually move these down because this front end's about an inch and a half lower at the top. So I've got to find a radiator that's going to fit inside of here. And that might be a, a fun chore there, but we will come up with something one way or the other. And uh, still got to put the alternator and everything on. And uh, of course, I got unlucky on the 
transmission. This is one of the Allisons without the gear in it. It's missing, come out of a bus. So I'm going to have to either change transmissions, put a gear in it, or run a hydraulic pump on the, on the motor. We'll walk over to the other side and I'll show you. The good thing about this, air conditioning used to mount there. I'm not running air conditioning at all on this truck. And uh, really don't, don't plan to, don't need to. All that goes here. So I'll probably mount a hydraulic pump up here, even if I have to raise it a little bit. And you know, you can see these things run. It's got four belts here, but uh, I think I've got another pulley I can run five belts. And because uh, your outside belt extension would have been for the air compressor. And evidently this truck that this came out of it didn't have air, air brakes. And uh, you know, most of the buses do, but this one didn't. Uh, quite a bit more to do. I mean, we've gotten quite a bit done, but, uh, you know, the cab's all mounted good, and most of the wiring is done. I've still got to do the headlight wiring, and alternator, of course. So we're going to get back on this and go ahead and, you know, see what we can get done on it. I think I'll get the doors changed out first. I've got to put a couple, well, I can take them out for now, but I've got some more parking lights up there. Uh, like I said, over the years I'd used a lot of parts off of it. So, uh, but the drivetrain is, you know, basically done. Except I have to raise that rear of four inches, and I hadn't decided if I'm going to use. I can order longer U bolts at a pretty good price. It'd be about I think twenty-four dollars space, about a hundred dollars plus shipping. I can order longer ones, put four-inch blocks in it. I really don't like doing that. If I raise it, I'll have to raise, of course, the front and the back. Uh, four inches that requires cutting all the rivets off, you know, moving it, moving it down, redrilling it, but making plates. The back wouldn't be hard because the way that it's mounted, it's all flat plated under uh, four by four tube, square tube, and box it in. That would be pretty easy back here. Uh, would rather do it that way. I think it'd be a little stronger when I'm done. And then uh, as soon as I get that done, I can go ahead and. Uh, Probably mount the record bed on it and uh, get started rebuilding the sides and stuff on it. But anyway, we're gonna get back on it and I'll show you more as I go. Thank you. 
Yeah, can I plug it in and see who won? We didn't have to do bust the windshield out for you. <laughs> Cut the top off to get to the radio. <laughs> I used the parts on other trucks. 